CompTIA A Plus Core 2, 220-1102, Practice Exam. Questions 1 through 5. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 1. An administrator wants to adjust the security settings on all devices used by employees within a domain environment. Which of the following options would allow the administrator to most efficiently complete this task? The answer is C. Create a new group policy using Active Directory. Creating a group policies using Active Directory streamlines the process of adjusting security settings for all devices within a domain environment. This method offers centralized management, granular control, scalability, ease of deployment, and flexibility in defining security parameters. It provides administrators with a straightforward means of enforcing uniform security standards network-wide. Question 2. In the context of cybersecurity, which of the following methods commonly incorporates SMS or a third-party application as an additional layer of authentication to access a system? The answer is A. MFA. Multi-factor authentication, or MFA, is widely regarded as a robust cybersecurity measure due to its requirement for users to provide multiple forms of verification. By incorporating methods such as SMS or third-party applications, MFA adds an extra layer of security beyond passwords. This approach mitigates the risk of unauthorized access, making it a common and effective practice in safeguarding systems against cybersecurity threats. Question 3. In a computer setup, a user wants to adjust settings to allow USB devices to be selectively suspended by the operating system. Which of the following control panel utilities would allow the user to access and configure this setting? The answer is B. Power Options. The Power Options utility enables users to adjust power management settings, including the selective suspension of USB devices by the operating system. Within the Power Options utility, users can access advanced power settings where they can configure options related to USB selective suspend. This feature allows the operating system to selectively suspend USB devices to conserve power, especially when they're not in use. Question 4. A systems administrator needs to manually configure an IP address on a computer running macOS. Which of the following commands would be able to complete this task? The answer is B. If config. The if config command in macOS is a powerful tool for managing network interfaces and their configurations. It stands for interface configuration and allows system administrators to view, configure, and control various aspects of network interfaces on the computer. This includes setting IP addresses, net masks, broadcast addresses, and other parameters necessary for network communication. Question 5. An employee receives a phone call from someone posing as an IT technician from the company's help desk. The caller insists on verifying the employee's login credentials for system maintenance purposes. Which of the following social engineering attacks is the employee experiencing? The answer is C. Vishing. Vishing, commonly known as voice phishing, is a form of social engineering where attackers use various forms of voice communication to manipulate individuals into divulging sensitive information or performing certain actions. In a vishing attack, the attacker may impersonate a trusted entity, such as a bank representative, government official, or IT technician, to gain the victim's trust. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching.
Subscribe for more great content.